Hey Denelle High School, this is Mr. Aiden and this is Electrochemistry Part 1. Uh, we're going to have two vodcasts of Electrochemistry and, and we're going to be learning this so that when we can come back from spring break we are ready to go. So let's get to it. Um, let's start with, uh, with oxidation numbers. Uh, oxidation numbers, if you remember, is just a fancy word for charge. And sometimes we can look right at the periodic table and we can tell what our oxidation number is by just taking a look at what element it is and what family. The alkali metals are going to be plus one, of course, every single one of them, all the time. The alkaline earth metals are going to be plus two all the time, 100% of the time. Things like zinc is going to be plus two, as we know, and something like silver is going to be plus one all the time. We know that from our other chapters. Keep in mind our halogens are going to be negative one all the time as well. And the second column here, only oxygen will know is negative two. Now sulfur changes its charge, so only oxygen will be negative 2 almost 100% of the time. Only in hydrogen peroxide or sodium peroxide, something where it's H2O2, will oxygen have a negative 1 charge. So now that we know that, we can figure out our oxidation numbers of any kind of compound possible. Let's take a look at something like P4, P4 which is the elemental form of phosphorus. As we can see, there's no charge up in the upper right-hand corner, so its overall charge is zero. And so what times four, since we have four p's, what times four equals zero? Of course, zero. Anything in its elemental form, whether we're talking about fluorine gas, F2, whether we're talking about chlorine gas, Cl2, whether we're talking about neon gas, Ne, whether we're talking about sodium metal, they all, anything in its elemental form will have an oxidation number of zero. Let's take a look at the second one. We have PO3, negative 3. You can see that the overall charge of the molecule is negative 3. And oxygen, which has a negative 2 charge all the time, except for that one case with hydrogen peroxide, times by 3 equals negative 6. So what plus negative 6 gives you negative 3? Of course, a positive 3. And since we just have one phosphorus, what times 3 equals positive 3? positive 3. The oxidation number of phosphorus in this case is positive 3. And now let's get to the, the, the thick of the mix, which is voltaic cells. This is what you have inside your car. This is what you have inside your Duracell battery. And this is something that we have to know. Now what happens here is we have two cells. You can see there's an, a zinc electrode on the left. There's a silver electrode on the right that's solid. And we have a solution. The zinc electrode is in a zinc solution. It's actually in a one molar solution. It is always started off in a one molar solution. Silver charges, silver ions, silver plus one is in a one molar solution as well. Again, it always starts off in a one molar solution. And what goes from across these two is called a salt bridge. It's not. It's made up of something that will be spectator ions, something like an alkali metal and a halogen and it will be able to conduct electricity. It is something that is an electrolyte, something that will dissociate 100%, and so that will not react with both zinc and not react with silver, okay? And so that will be a salt bridge, and you see there is a wire hooked up to a voltmeter above. Now we have these things called half reactions. Our half reaction on the, on the left will be zinc solid becoming zinc plus two plus two electrons and you can see it transfers two electrons going from a zero charge to a positive charge and on the right hand side we have silver ions silver plus one gaining two electrons to become silver solid and so the silver electrode will gain in mass whereas the zinc electrode will actually deteriorate it will go from a solid to an aqueous and this is called a redox reaction now if you see the zinc on the left is going from a zero charge to a positive two charge which means it is losing electrons and losing electrons is oxidation whereas silver on the right hand side silver is going from plus one to zero so it is actually gaining two electrons gaining electrons is reduction G-E-R and that is called reduction and we know that by the acronym Leo the Lion goes grrr, okay? So we have to know that losing electrons is oxidation, gaining electrons is reduction. We also have another acronym, and that is NOx and a red cat. 
NOx stands for that the anode is the side where oxidation occurs, whereas the cathode, the red cat, is the side where the reduction occurs. And the electrons always flow from the anode to the cathode in alphabetical order, from the A to the C. And that is a voltaic cell.